And now we bring you the official TV Nation poll. 215 Americans were surveyed by the polling firm of Widgreen Associates. 12% of those polled believe the success of actor David Hasselhoff, star of Baywatch, is due, at least in part, to dealings with the devil. A couple of weeks ago, we talked about how usually when we think of crime, we think of street crime. And of course, that's what these good men in blue here are for, to, to take care of street criminals and, you know, people who, you know, hassle us, right? But there's a different kind of crime in America called corporate crime that we rarely think about. And that's why we introduce to you our newest mascot, Crackers, the corporate crime-fighting chicken. And after cleaning up corporate crime here in New York, we headed off across the country, and our first stop was... Philadelphia, Michael. That's right, and we went to see if there was any corporate crime there, and what did we find out? We found lots and lots of it. That's right, we did, and Crackers, you did something about it, didn't you? Oh, yes, we did. Why don't we show the viewers what happened in Philly? Let's go to Philly. in Philadelphia? Yeah! Do we want to get rid of corporate crime here? Yeah! Well, then meet Crackers, the corporate crime chicken. Yeah! Oh, tell me about it. Just laid off 700 people. Who did? The railroad. Just laid off 700 people here. Yeah! Their CEO, then just uh, sent all operations over to China. How many jobs? They're shutting down factories in this country here and putting people out of work. Serious sources of air pollution, which is going to burn contaminated soil. It's been squashed in the press. Crackers, you have to try the cheese steak. I have a corporate crimes report. I'd like to know why the state of Pennsylvania has the highest bounce check fee. I'd like to know why we are paying $30 for non-sufficient funds when it costs the bank only $2 to process a check. You're not writing bad checks on purpose. I can't afford to write bad checks on purpose. I'm just a school teacher. My check is directly deposited into this institution from the school board every two weeks. This, has this happened to any of you? Has anybody else had these bouncing check charges? My bank got a service charge and I didn't realize it. So I wound up bouncing like six checks. Somebody can bounce a check on you and they charge you money because somebody else bounced a check in your account. And we're being ripped off. Well, that's a corporate crime. That's a corporate crime. to one of these banks and see what we can do about this. Okay. You want to come with us? Let's go down to the bank. I got a tip from a woman that your bank is charging excessive fees for bounce checks. I think you need to take that up with our corporate communications department, sir. Power to the poultry! Power to the poultry! Power to the poultry! All right, Crackers, go get them. All right? I'm off to teach them a lesson about corporate wrongdoing. Good luck! Yeah. Yeah. A spokesperson. Crackers, I'm Judy Williams. I had one Welcome simple question. To, uh, How much does it cost to process a bounced check? Boy, that's a tough question. I don't know, Crackers. Huh? That's a real tough one. Um, you sure that's what you, uh, I mean, um, I, I, I don't want to comment on that. Gee, some corporate spokesperson. She wouldn't tell me anything. I went to every bank I could find, trying to get them to lower their fees. Every bank was the same. High fees, high fees, and higher fees. The banks refused to give me an explanation because there was only one. It's an easy way to make a buck. So I turned to Denise Shields, 
a local consumer advocate and banking issues smarty. Banks make big profits, as much as $4 billion total uh, on bounce checks. $4 billion a year total for bounce checks? Right, they love you to bounce checks, and they help you do it. So what kinds of things do banks do to help you bounce checks? Well, they'll clear all the checks before the deposits. They clear the biggest check first, so that if you have a lot of little checks, each one is going to bounce, and they'll charge a bounce check fee for each one. How can they do that? Because they can get away with it. I've got to change the law. Philadelphia has the highest fee for bounce checks in the whole country. I got a bill. All right, let's go. You know, we're talking about decent, hardworking people um, who go to the bank on a Friday, you know, put their check in the bank, their paycheck, but maybe the bank doesn't record it right away. So you go home Friday night and you start writing out checks to pay your bills. You think that the bank has already deposited your paycheck. They haven't. That's right. And then your checks start bouncing. What can we do about that? Do you have uh, well, any I was idea a for me? Yes, I was at a law office, and uh, I've written this bill, a bill, by Crackers. It limits the amount a bank can charge for bounced checks to no more than seven fifty, which is a reasonable deterrent and allows banks to recover a reasonable profit for both costs. Thanks. It's a great bill. I'll yeah. introduce it. State Representative Josephs promised to introduce my bill this fall, and people in the city of brotherly love will be able to breathe a little easier when writing their checks. and Philadelphians one, banks zero. And you're a hero, crackers, man. Crackers, crackers. Huh? Wow. <laughs> I'll tell you, well, listen, we're having uh, such good success at this. Why don't we continue our corporate crime tour across America? You with me? Great. Where are we going, Mike? Well, let's ask our announcer, Bruce Brown, where we're going to be this week. Join Crackers tomorrow in St. Louis at Soulard Market on the corner of 7th and Lafayette. And on Tuesday in Indianapolis at Monument Circle. On Wednesday in Chicago at the corner of Clark and Randolph. And on Thursday in Milwaukee at City Hall. Back to you, Mike. Come meet Crackers. Tell them what's going on in your town regarding corporate wrongdoing. And we'll see what we can do about it. Hey!